Traveling overseas offers a range of benefits, including cultural immersion, language acquisition, personal growth, a broadened perspective, education, adventure, exploration, networking, self-reflection, relaxation, culinary experiences, and the creation of lasting memories. It allows you to experience different cultures, learn new things, expand your horizon, and gain a deeper understanding of the world. However, in this video, we're going to discuss why you should think twice about exchanging your money for foreign currency when traveling overseas. Hi Globetrotters, welcome back to the channel. To all the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel by becoming a subscriber. To those of you who have been my day ones, thank you so much for rocking with me this far and for coming back and clicking on another video. To those of you who are new, hello, welcome. My name is Lori and in this community, we strive to educate, motivate and inspire each other in all things travel related. So just go on and click on that little picture of my face, go up on your TV and across or go just, you know, do that on your mobile device and you can just quickly subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, as you watch the video and you like it, and you know you're gonna learn something new, then go ahead and click that thumbs up button because that also tells YouTube that, hey, this content is valuable and you should push it out to more people who may find it valuable as well. As I said, there's so many benefits to traveling overseas and I hope that you guys truly take advantage of that. And the name of the channel being Globetrotter, I love to travel and I love to travel especially overseas and learning different cultures. First things first, exchanging money for overseas currencies can come with some significant downsides. So the main drawback in exchanging money overseas has to do with how much money you lose when you exchange your currency for foreign currency. And I have not been doing this for quite a while. Um, I can't remember the last time I, I exchanged money when I traveled overseas. I, I, I really really cannot recall in memory the last time I exchanged money when traveling overseas. One of the main reasons is the unfavorable exchange rates you'll find at exchange rate kiosks, banks, and at your airports. If you think about it, foreign exchange kiosks and companies often set their rates to make sure that they maximize their profits. So they're going to take whatever the market exchange rate is and they're going to add a margin to make sure that they're making some money from that exchange of your money as well. So you're always going to lose in that transaction. America has one of the highest exchange rates for foreign currency. So if you're going to exchange your money here and a lot of people say, well, you know, let's exchange our money at the airport before we go. And to me, it's like, no, because the exchange rate fees are ridiculous. And why would you do that? It's like giving someone a dollar and getting 80 cents back or something like that. You know, it's just not worth it to me. Also, in a previous video, I told you about taking smaller denominations of cash with you when you travel. So typically I carry about maybe $200 on me. That's it. Um, maybe in fives and ones so that I can use those as tips and so that I can use those to make smaller purchases. But I also told you about um, the, the best travel credit cards in a previous video and I told you about traveling with a credit card. Therefore, I travel with a credit card that has zero foreign transaction fees and a credit card that I can use in multiple locations that is widely accepted. I travel with two different ones. I may travel with a MasterCard and an American Express card or something like that so that I have a variety of cards. The other thing that I do is I carry my debit card and my debit card that has a signature MasterCard or Visa logo that, that will be accepted just about any ATM machine abroad. What I have done actually in Costa Rica, I went into a bank to try to get some cash because I wanted to do some, um, some extra purchases and, um, go to the museum for gold in San Jose and all of that. And it was just incredible how high the exchange rate was at the bank. I went to the local bank and I was going to, um, do a transaction through my bank here in the US. And then I thought to myself, let me go to the ATM and see what will happen. And I went to the ATM machine 
and I got the cash out in the exact exchange rate without the added portion. So I was in the bank, refused to pay their transaction fee and went to the ATM machine and I saw how much would be taken out of my, um, of my account in real time. And I said, yeah, that's the best bet ever. So my advice to you is to not exchange your money at the kiosks, not exchange your money at the airports. Don't even exchange your money at the bank teller. Go into the bank where it's secure and then go to the ATM machine within that bank and use your debit card if you need additional cash, if you find yourself needing additional cash. I think it was that the, um, the local taxis or something like that, they wanted cash. I can't remember the exact reason why I had to have extra cash um, walking around. So you should also consider using alternative forms of payment because actually the U.S. is behind in alternative forms of payment at local retailers and such. So you will find that as you travel the world, they're a lot more sophisticated with the payment methods that they accept. One last point to consider is that you may end up with a lot of money at the end of your trip in that foreign currency. So what are you going to do? Are you going to exchange it back for your currency before you travel overseas? Guess what? You pay another exchange rate fee when you go to change that money back. So now that dollar that became 80 cents is now going to become like 60 cents that you're going to get back when you go to exchange that money. I usually will leave the tip at the hotel in the in the local currency to, to try to uh, rid myself of some of that extra money. So I will do the conversions and figure out how much is appropriate for the um, the staff who uh, come in and clean the room and care for whatever you know little needs that I had. And so I will leave the tip in that currency or I may tip the valet or I may tip the, you know, the bellhop or whomever takes the uh, bag at the airport. Or I may even go to the airport when I'm there and purchase like, you know, in Canada, you have to you have to purchase the coffee crisp. Those are their versions of like the Kit Kat bars, but they have a little bit of a coffee flavor and they're like giant or like... <laughs> <laughs> they're like the king size bars, but they're so good. And so I think we bought about a dozen bars of coffee crisp. Um, so, you know, using the extra money at the airport to purchase those last minute souvenirs. And I wait until the last minute to purchase my souvenirs because um, I like to collect actually shot glasses from around the world. And so I'll, I'll purchase the shot glass there and I'll purchase um, local candies or local delicacies to take back things that I would not be able to find in the States. So consider using the money for those purposes. Another thing you may want to do is to donate that local currency. Usually at airports, you will find um, containers or uh, boxes, clear boxes or something like that where you can donate to a worthy cause like um, surgeries for children with cleft palates and those kinds of things. And so you may want to put that extra money into that collection place. Another thing, yet another thing you may want to do with that, with that leftover money is just keeping it for your your collection. I have money from all different parts of the world, all different parts. My grandmother actually used to collect money from all over the world. And so I have her collection and then I have also my collection of coins from coins and some bills from different countries in the world. So to sum it all up, think twice before exchanging money overseas. Instead, consider alternative methods of payment such as travel credit cards, Consider using your phone or your mobile device as a touch payment. Consider travel credit cards with favorable exchange rates or zero transaction fees included in their terms. You also want to um, consider using whatever leftover cash you have from any cash transactions. And yes, the US dollar is accepted widely overseas. And so if you get their currency in, in, in return as change, then you can use that to either tip the individuals you meet along the way. You can donate that money to some charitable causes. You can purchase 
last minute items at the airport on your way out of that country, or you can simply save that currency for your collection, for your memorabilia, for your souvenir from your visit to that country. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you found this video enjoyable, at least educational. And if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more travel videos. Again, in this first week of July, I'm trying to give you a video every day. I missed out on Monday, I think it was, because there were some technical errors, but we're gonna put that to the side and push forward. So consider subscribing to the channel. Consider clicking on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload on this channel. As always, remember to value experiences over things because travel is the only thing you buy that truly makes you richer. Until next time, ciao.